Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and boy do I have some news to end the week. But before I get into it, I want to make something perfectly clear. I want to make my biases known so the whole world can understand where I'm coming from. I do not have an irrational hatred of Facebook. I think my hatred of Facebook is completely rational. I think they're a blight. I think as a company they should go away. I think they are making the world a worse place. But in this case, I'm talking mostly about Facebook, the platform. Facebook, the company, can occasionally do some good in the world. For example, on November the 19th, Facebook announced that they were joining Blender as a corporate sponsor. This means that Blender has additional 120,000 euro a month or more of resources to hire developers. This was to support the ongoing development of um, the Blender uh, application in general. And this joins a number of other companies such as Unity, Epic Games, AMD, NVIDIA in sponsoring at that particular tier. And this was to support their Spark AR Studio development. So basically both teams should theoretically win. This isn't a matter that uh, Facebook bought Blender. You can't buy an open source project. It, don't talk to me about my sequel. Different story. So anyways, don't worry about that as a Blender fan. And today, do not worry about it as a Godot fan. But yes, Godot just announced their sponsorship. Uh, sorry, uh, Facebook just announced their sponsorship of the Godot engine. And in fact, it was more of Facebook Reality Labs division did. So there, there are thousands and thousands of really well-intentioned, good, smart engineers at Facebook trying to make products that make our lives better. It's Facebook, the platform I don't like. This is something completely different. And at the end of the day, they're making something I do like, the Godot engine, better. And this isn't really, there's no, um, there's no ambiguity what the, what the money is being used for here because this is straight out a grant. And this is a grant to do something very specific. Now, Godot has actually had similar stuff in the past. Godot got a grant from Microsoft for their C-sharp development support. Godot got a grant from Mozilla for HTML5 support in the past or, or something along those lines. I think it was that. It might have been... Uh, uh, socket communications. But anyways, they, they get grants from these corporations to do very specific things. And what this grant is, is about virtual reality. So we got a very specific definition of what is being funded here. So quite frankly, we know what the influence of Facebook is going to be on Godot. And if you're a virtual reality guy, th that stuff is quite good. And this actually makes a lot of sense. This, this makes a little bit more sense than the Blender one, because straight out, they own Oculus. So if VR, more VR games are made, and Godot is capable of doing better VR titles, well, we all win. Plus, VR these days is all kind of on an open platform called OpenXR. So all the other headsets out there, the Vive, the um, Rift, the uh, Mixed Reality stuff, everybody gains from this, not just Facebook. Uh, so if you don't know already, Godot is a not-for-profit game engine. I cover it all the times on this channel. Uh, OpenXR is the new open standard from the Kronos Group for uh, you know standard way of interfacing with VR headsets. And all of the major VR makers have kind of come on, come on board for that. Uh, so Godot had VR support since version 3 back in 2018. I did a video about it early on. Uh, it was all done by Bastian Olage, a uh, great guy. I've linked to his channel in the past. I'll link to it again. You should check it out. He does some really technical tutorials on both uh, VR and GD native stuff and it's definitely worth checking out. Uh, he basically at least initially single-handedly did the VR stuff. There's a, there's a couple other people working on this stuff but he is one of the main contributors there. Um, and as Godot 3.2 VR supports open VR, Oculus VR and Oculus Mobile VR. Uh, vibrant community of VR developers are now making games using VR. Uh, like I said here earlier this was a bid that was put for, not really a bid, but a package that was solicited to um, the Facebook Reality Labs team. So they know exactly what is going to be worked on. And the cool thing is it means hiring Bastian full time to work on Godot. So Godot now has another core contributor. And outside of like a handful of the people there, the one that was missing that's kind of, why aren't you part of the foundation was always um, Bastian. Like, he, he just makes sense to be an employee there. And Godot is a better place for having him on the team. Uh, so he's a senior, um, Bastian is senior generalist developer has been working one of the top contributors since 2016, working on mostly AR and VR, but he also worked on GD native mobile platform supports as well as rendering. So there's not too many guys that are getting that low into the muck. Uh, beyond other than the, the handful of core team. Uh, so he's definitely pretty key to the development of Godot in general. Uh, what he's going to be doing with this grant in 2021, so he's starting in February of 2021, uh, he's going to be doing the OpenXR implementation for desktop and mobile. The mobile is key because the uh, Quest is actually Android-based 
Uh, so, you know, if you want to support Quest, you need to get that one out there. OpenXR, as I mentioned earlier on, it encompasses AR and VR. All the major players, Microsoft, uh, Oculus, Valve, are all behind it. Um, an open source cross-platform vendor neutral game engine thrilled to be uh, by the support that IHVs or independent hardware vendors are giving OpenXR and want to rely on it as their main interface. They're gonna extend the Godot input system for VR specific stuff. This means things like hand tracking, the controller sensors, buttons, and so on that are specific to VR. They'll be handled using the normal Godot input mechanisms. Uh, OpenXR plugin system to use the new Vulkan render design. So 3.2 XR support is functional. 4.0 is going to break all that. So he's gonna have to make it work again. Uh, the joy of a new renderer. And he's going to have to implement the Vulkan renderer on Android. Now, that is going to be a heck of a task. And uh, outside of the world of VR, uh, other people should benefit from that as well. Uh, and then on top of that, he's going to be doing various rendering optimizations. Mostly these things are specific to the world of VR, including stereoscopic rendering enhancements, uh, providing details about the eye for which an image is rendered, support for compositor layers, which makes UI overlays easier and get a more uh, crisp and uh, stable UI as a result, and support for variable rate shading in Vulkan, providing performance gains with techniques such as foveated rendering. Um, I think that basically boils down to you render more in terms of what the eye can actually see and a little bit less of the things that aren't being seen and rendering optimization for mobile implementing alternative techniques to the ones suitable on desktop platforms for better mobile performance. So Bastian is going to have a heck of a lot of work ahead of him, uh, but it will benefit both the XR and the traditional Godot game. So, uh, you know, his work, again, something like Vulkan rendering on Android, anyone using Android as a platform is going to benefit from that. It's not just VR stuff, but obviously he is the head guy doing VR work and um, he's full time now. So that's actually pretty awesome. I hopefully we can figure out a way to get this past, uh, you know, just the, the year or actually, I don't know if there's a fixed duration on this one about how long this is going to last, but um, it is a fixed um, grant. So it basically Facebook are pushing over a general amount of money. Technically also the money doesn't go uh, to Godot directly. It goes to uh, the, the holding company, not the holding company, but the uh, group above them, which is these guys, the Software Freedom Conservancy. Uh, it's a not-for-profit charity that promotes software freedom. Uh, so that's who does the administration, the legal, and so on stuff. Uh, but Godot is a fully not-for-profit open source engine. All development happens thanks to dedication of hundreds of contributors, including a handful of paid developers. Paid developers are hired thanks to donations both on Patreon and corporate sponsorship. So again, there's nothing really new about this one. And don't be scared of the fact that it's Facebook. As you can tell by the way this video started, I am no fan of Facebook. It doesn't, I can't really put into words. Although I think Blight really kind of sums up my opinion on them. But that doesn't mean that this money isn't good for the Godot engine. It doesn't mean that Facebook can't do good things for the game development community. And between this and Blender, well, they're both good things. It doesn't mean that I don't think that they're uh, a terrible platform that should go away and is causing the world damage. But don't worry if you're worried about the future of Godot. This is just money. There's no strings attached. What the money is used for is really well written here. That's the nice thing about this grant as opposed to like say something with the Blender thing. That's more of an open-ended here we'll give you this much money as long as we're happy with you. Well there's the tie there then that uh, you know, we could kind of hold it over their head a little bit for the next year or the year after, the year after, oh, we, we would rather you work on this or that or this or that. And I don't see that happening with Blender either. Blender is a very independent open source project as well. But in this case, what that money is going for is very, very well defined. So there is no reason to be afraid of this move at all as a Godot uh, end user. This is ultimately just, it's a good thing. Uh, it's a good thing from an evil company. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of uh, Facebook, Facebook the platform, because I think we should distinguish those two things, because Facebook is so big and monolithic and, um, you know, that we, we really can't put it all into one group. But let me think of what uh, Godot getting uh, better VR support as a result of this. I think it's all just good stuff. All right, that's it. I will talk to you all later.